Hello everybody. Uh, Uber Lady Charlotte and I am getting ready to go to the grocery store. Make sure I got my car keys and my license. Um, go to the grocery store. Whoop, not my beautiful sweater. Oh, my beautiful sweater. I'm stuck on my door. Okay. I got on a knit sweater. I bought it a couple of years ago. And um, it gets hung on everything. can't believe it. I hate when it does that. Just me nothing in my trunk. I don't know if y'all do that, but I check that all the time in my trunk. Back seats. Anyway, I did an uh, Uber Eats delivery today. And, <clears throat> yeah, it only paid $3 and some change. That's all right. It's a little rough out here today. But it paid three dollars and some odd cents for the trip, and I had to go to a Mediterranean restaurant. Y'all, give me just a moment. I need to turn the phone this way, and then turn it that way. Okay. So I had to um, <clears throat> do a Uber Eats delivery. I'm sorry. Got all the shine on my face. I didn't put any more face powder on. And um, y'all know how I feel about them places. They had them shababs. Now, I know they call kebabs, but in my family, we call them shababs. And I think I shared that story on how we got the name shababs. But um, they had some shababs. So I said, first thing I thought to myself, y'all know, let's say it in unison, I'm going to get me some of them kebabs. But I say, okay, let me get the menu. So what I do, of course, I get the takeout menu. They got some good stuff on there. Good looking stuff. The pictures are pretty. And the restaurant smelled amazing. So I'm like, dang, I'm getting some of them shabobs. Well, I looked in the shabob section. And two shabobs and some rice was $11.95. I'm like, dang, I just started doing Uber today. So I can't really, I can't buy me no shababs because I got to try to get this money up for somebody. So, hmm, there was that. So I got to thinking about it. I'm riding, riding, looking for some more trips and riding. Then I say, self, and I say, huh? You can make your own shababs today. I'm like, damn, sure can. But what we need, though. So I thought, started thinking about things that go on the shabob stick. You got the white onion, the thick slice. You got, I don't know about the bell pepper. I don't remember Greek Greek food having bell peppers on their shababs. So I could probably forego on the shabab with the Greek pe with the green pepper. <clears throat> so I said, I got garlic. They use lots of garlic for something. Maybe I can peel, because I got some garlic cloves at the house. Maybe I can peel those and just run the stick through them and grill them whole. I like roasted um, garlic, so I'm going to do that. And then... I remember I got some Greek dressing at the house. So I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to marinate my chicken breast. I'm going to cut the chicken breast real thick. And thick one inch, one inch pieces. Because they, they swell up, you know, when they cook. So I'm going to marinate them in the Greek um, salad dressing. It's more of an oil, olive oil, vinegar based. Or however, it's real good. I said, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Marinate my pieces in that. I said, do I really want a tomato? Do they put tomatoes on the on the, on the the Mediterranean shababs? I'm like, you know what? They probably do. So I'm going to buy a tomato. I'm going to buy a big tomato. Cut it in chunks and throw them on. I'm just trying to make six. Throw them on there. And I got some rice at the house. And so I bought a little can of that. Uh, I mean, a jar of that. I'm gonna mess up the name. Komur, Komur, K O M U R, Komur. I don't know, sauce. So I'm gonna taste it. I ain't never had that before, so I'm gonna taste that sauce. I'm gonna taste it. And then if it needs some of my soul foot put in it, I'm gonna do that. Because, you know, the thing about them jar, them processes, them pro those processed food additives or whatever, those jars and cans, you gotta put your own love in it. Cooking is about love. You gotta put your own love in it. So I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna see what they got on it in the can. How much love got in the can from the company. And then I'm gonna do my own thing. Because that's what I do. I can't follow a recipe. I start out following the recipe, but I ain't gonna do right. A lot of y'all ain't gonna do right. You know you add something. It kills me sometimes when a when a chef give a recipe. 
and you follow the recipe. You say, I followed the recipe to the T, except I added this and I did this and I did this. Well, then you didn't follow the recipe. I did, I followed the recipe to the T, except I, well, that wasn't the recipe. My mama told me a long time ago, if you can bake a box cake following the recipes on the back, you can cook anything. I'm like, really, mom, that's all? But I ain't gonna lie, that was the hardest thing in the world, to go in there and cook that box cake, measuring them little three, four teaspoons of water or whatever, and then try to get your cake better to come. Anyway, going back to what I'm talking about. So I got all my ingredients for the um, shababs, except I get to the house, I'm talking to Thaddeus on the phone, taking out my shabab ingredients. I ain't got no damn chicken breast. I'm like, how am I supposed to make shababs without chicken breast? I got sticks. I know I got to marinate my sticks in the water for 30 minutes because you don't want to burn up your sticks in the oven. I don't, I don't have a grill. I want a grill one day, but I don't have a grill. I want one of them real nice grills where people open up the top and you get them flapping and flipping. I'm scared of grills but because my hair be flammable and my makeup and my hairspray and all that. And I don't want to go up like poof in a ball of glory. So, but I want a grill. I want a gas grill. Even though I am scared of the propane tank, I'm still, that's on my list. Okay, y'all got them imaginary lists? Well, I got my list wrote down, because the Bible says, write the vision, make it plain. So I got my list wrote down, and as I acquire those things, I scratch them off the list, and it makes me feel accomplished. That's just me. Yes, it's only material things. They're only materialistic things, but it makes me feel like I'm getting somewhere. But I'm not hell-bent on acquiring those things. It's just, you know, a little gift to myself every once in a while, or if I get a little blessing here and there, then I might can do something. All right, so anyway, now I'm headed to, to the grocery store to get the, the pack of chicken breast. So I can cut it in one inch pieces, chunk it out. I'm gonna chunk it out, stick it on my sticks with all my ingredients after I marinate and all that. Get me, maybe, maybe find me some olives, because I think, I think in the Mediterranean they use a lot of olives. So, Maybe some type of rice with some olives in it. And maybe some um, crushed tomatoes. I mean, I'm going to just make up something. I'm going to make up something. I'm going to just tell y'all from the get-go. I'm going to make up something. And I'm going to see y'all come out. Cook cooking is all about making up stuff. So, that's what I'm going to do when I'm at the house. Um, if y'all want to watch, you're more than welcome to. Let me get my, all my ingredients chopped up and cut up and all situated and everything. And we're going to do it together. Now, some of y'all may hate on it, because, you know, we always got them people. I never forget that dude. You know, my wife would never cook anything like that. You, my wife would never make a horrible-looking mess like this. Number one, I ain't your wife. Number two, I don't care what you think. And then number three, I had another subscriber that told him to shut up. I will effing kill you and your wife. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's not that serious. It was nice to know he had my back, but it's a whoa, whoa. So... Anyway, I ain't gonna lie. Some of y'all get real ratchet on this on this uh, YouTube channel. Yep, some of y'all are some hitters. Y'all, I'm saying, y'all y'all get mad fast. I mean, y'all get mad fast. If there were, if there was, if there was a zombie apocalypse, I got some people I would shoot emails to real fast. Get over here, because I like your style. But some of y'all so gangster. So hood with it. Y'all scared me. And I grew up in the hood. Y'all just scared me. Make me look bougie. And I'm not bougie at all. But because I go get mine. I go get mine. Nah. I'm too old. My shoulders hurt. I got bursitis. A little arthritic in, you know, in my shoulder, in my hip. I'm a little slow as far as my tactical steel skills. My the Ninja Turtle roll used to be hot back in the day. But I, I made myself dizzy trying to roll around on the ground in my quick Ninja Turtle roll and then jump back to my feet. I'm getting old. Dur. I'm getting older. You know what? Let me tell you. Subject change. As you start to get older and you wake up in the morning and you think you're just going to hop right out of bed, I'm going to tell y'all, for y'all that, for y'all that, I'm going to be 50 next year, but for y'all that don't know, that think you're going to be invincible forever, Life, the, the, the merry-go-round going to slow down. The merry-go-round going to slow down, honey. You're going to wake up in the morning, open your eyes, and think you're just going to throw your legs over and get off the side of the bed, and you're going to fall straight to the floor. Or when you go to throw your legs over, you're gonna swing them over to put your feet on the floor, you still going to be laying in the bed straight. 
wondering, wait a minute, my mind said we were doing this, but my body was like, what are you doing? We got to warm it up first. Um, you're going to get to a point to where you can't just stretch. You know, now you're young, you just stretch. Ah, I got to watch how I stretch because I'm going to catch a Charlie horse. Your body just going to catch a damn Charlie horse, and you don't know why. Right now, right now, I'm going through a little something. In the mirror the other day, putting on makeup. I y'all already know when I put on my makeup, I'm not I don't do all that extra stuff. I mean it's good when them young girls do that. That's cute. You know, it's cute and everything. What they take they, they four hours to put on their makeup, their face, no. Mm mm. I give me a cotton ball, bust on that eyeshadow. One layer. Take the other part of that cotton ball, scoop it around in there. I like this color. Scoop, 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 scoop. Take the other part of that cotton ball. Get that in there. Hit that brow bone up there, up there. Eyebrow pencil, shape my lips in, in some liner, and look on that in that little pot that I got on. It's not a pot; it's a basket full of lipsticks. Go through somewhere around in there and find something to match my outfit or my skin tone. Bust it gone and some mascara. All right, some days I don't even do all that. Today I'm gonna tell you what I did. Took my little Dollar Tree foundation. My little Dollar Tree foundation, a little tube. Put that on my pad. Rub that on my face. Took my translucent powder with my brush. Wasn't even the right brush. It was a cheap brush, rouge brush. Dip that in there. Got that all over my face. Worked it out to look natural. Got my eyebrows on. Put some more powder on top of my eyebrows to set them. Mascara. I took a crayon. A crayon, not a real crayon. It's like one of those um mascara crayons. It was gold and had glitter in it. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't know I had this. I knocked that down in the corner. Put me some two strips right here. Strip, 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 strip right there. And took that same thing and lined my lips and put my gold lipstick in it. I ain't got time to be looking cover girl. I, I'm not a model. I didn't strive to be a model. That ain't what I'm striving for every day. This is what I got. Take all me and love me. If you don't leave me, I don't care. I put on what looks good. What I feel comfortable in. So... Thank you for liking all my makeup and my hair. This hair, this hair was a mistake. It came out beautiful. But I'm getting rave reviews on this hair. Facebook, YouTube. It was supposed to be all this blonde with the dark at the roots. I'm see, supposed to be like that. Supposed to be like that. Well, I ran out right here in the black part. I ran out of here. So I had to dig in the bag. Dig in the bag and find some hair I thought would go with this. This ain't even the same thing on here. And I did it, and it came out beautiful. It came out beautiful. And I'm glad y'all like it. Because I like it. My coworkers love it. I love it. It's great. But I told y'all I was going to wear that weird color. This the hair I've been saving for a long time. Because I'm like, this don't even go in my skin. That's how I felt. But it seemed like it do. And I hadn't worn this hair because I was scared to wear it because of the color. But I was in def desperate times. So, But thank y'all so much. Y'all really changed me. It made a difference. You know, maybe I'll do this color again. It really it really made a difference. Your your comments did. Anyway, so we done talked about cooking. We done talked about hair. Y'all give me some good advice on that um workplace etiquette. Like I said, I'm going to put that video together. But I got to make it really nice and professional and plain. And I may use a little humor. You know what? I'm just going to use some humor with it because that's what I do. And uh, who knows? It, it may even be big throughout the company. You never know. You never know. But um, something got to be done because they wilding out around there. The office is getting out of control. It's getting out of control unnecessarily. So I'm gonna do my part as safety and training manager, and I'm gonna try to beat it down, beat it, beat all the conflict down. I'm a Libra. I don't like conflict. I don't. I ain't scared to get in it, but I don't like discourse and. People being upset and my and my environment being out of whack. So I feel like I have to do something to get it back. Because I try my best to keep everybody happy. You know, everybody. And I, I'm the go-between to talk to people to get them to understand. When well, you said this, you know, when you said this, it's kind of made them. And then when you came back, you know, and then eventually everybody talks. That's what I do. Should I be doing that? Probably not. Because it's very stressful to me. But it's more stressful for me to be in an environment as a Libra where people aren't getting along. So, I'm going to try to squash it. 
All right, let me go ahead and get this chicken. And uh, the chicken, some olives, I guess. Do I really need olives? I don't think I really need olives. Olives are so salty. I don't know. I'm going to work something out. I don't know. I remember that last time I had them, had them shababs from that place, or that rice. They had some dates in their rice. It was okay. I'm not a big fan of raisins in my rice. But it was okay. Now that piece of curled up wood looked like a cinnamon stick. That was different. But when I licked that stick, it didn't taste like cinnamon. It tastes like something else. Something I should have been wearing behind my ears. It smelled really good. But I don't know exactly know what that curled up stick was. Anyway, we're just going to make up something, and we're going to see how it go. All right, I'm going to take pictures of it, and that's it. So I'm okay. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, bye.